from Montmartre here again. Thanks for joining us. Today we're going to be painting the canvas we created in the How to Create Your Own Canvas uh, lesson that we did a while ago. Now I have made a second canvas so we can do a diptych. Now a diptych is one painting over two separate canvases and they look great. Now today we're going to be painting an oil painting and we're going to be painting a tree and on one canvas um, we're going to have before the bushfire and the other canvas we're going to have after the bushfire. So obviously this is going to be a little bit of an homage to the Australian bushfire. So let's get into it. Okay, so draw up your uh, horizon line first, which is the general rule for most landscapes. Alright, now we have to transfer our, our suns on, so I've picked a plastic dish which is roughly the same size, and we can use that to transfer. Okay, now onto the fun part, drawing up our tree. Now start with your basic shape. Now onto the trunk. The limbs are pretty much an intuitive thing. Just put them where you think that they should go. Have a little bit of fun. All right, now our drawing's done. On with the paint. For the painting, we are going to use Montmartre oil paints. So we're going to use the 12 pack. These paints are fantastic. You're going to love them. They're buttery and smooth. They've got a really high pigment and there's a great range of colors in there. Um, we're using the cerulean in the 100 mil oils. Um, and for our brushes, um, I'm recommending the oil color brush set. It comes in a lovely timber box to protect them, but there's a great uh, range of sizes. If you take care of these, they'll last you a long time. I'm also using my favorite brush, the 75mm uh, Taclon Wide Artist's brush. Now, to take care of your brushes, um, you, you will need one of these brush washers. And these are really good. Basically, um, they've got a nice little spring uh, attachment up here that holds the brushes when you're not using them so they can just sit in the turfs. And obviously we're going to need a palette. So I'm using the Easy Clean palette. I love these things. They're fantastic. You can just clean them off after you've um, finished using them. So um, let's mix up some paint and get it on the canvas. Place on your palette four parts blue and four parts white. Mix a grey for the sky from six parts white, one part black and two parts yellow ochre. And mix a brown from one parts burnt umber, one part white and two parts yellow. This is going to be for the underground colour. Slap that on over the uh, drawing. So as I'm moving down I'm adding more um, terps. It's just thinning, so it's just kind of washing. You can see, I can still see the drawing behind my wash, and that's pretty important. When we get down to the bottom, you can see there's virtually no color on this brush. I'm just scumbling it into the canvas. Okay, well that looks great. Now onto this side and the blue. Once you've cleaned off your brush, let's paint in this blue. Now I'm using pure cobalt on the top. And then I'm just going to blend in a bit of white when, when we come down here. You'll notice how beautifully these oil paints mix too. Well, doesn't that look great? Now let's move on to the underground. Okay, I'm just using a straight uh, burnt umber here. Now 
Okay, so I'm using the filbert here, and that really gets into these little nooks and crannies. And you can see that I've uh, still got my lines under this thin coat of paint, so that's good. I can still see exactly where to lay out the paint. And you don't need to stay in the lines, but it's good to have a bit of a rough guide there. Okay, now onto our black. The dark onto coat onto your palette. Mix five parts Veridan green, two parts sap green, and two parts brilliant red. For the medium green, we use eight parts straight sap green. And for the light green, we use two parts sap green and six parts medium yellow. Okay, use your 75mm Taclon brush. And don't worry if it looks dark, because the light colours are going to go on top of that. So just slap this on there and leave little bits of blue coming through, because you'd see that on a tree. Just have a bit of fun. You'll see how lovely these paints are to work with. Slap a bit of the medium mix on, leaving some of the dark green visible, and finally lay over your highlight green. As this is wet on wet, don't over mix the colour. Now for our suns. The sun on the left is just pure lemon yellow. So squeeze this out onto your palette. For the bushfire sun on the right, squeeze out equal proportions of brilliant red and medium yellow. For the blending part, I just dry off my brush, don't dip it, and then just with a dry brush, constantly back and forth. And the wonderful things about these Montmartre oils is how beautifully they blend. You can see that I haven't got a lot of paint on there, but you can see the blend starting to happen. You can only do this with oils. You can't blend acrylics as easily as this. Alright, our suns are done. Let's add another dimension and put our grass in. So with your leftover green paint, paint and your 75mm Taclon brush, just lay in your grass. Just use the edge of your brush and use fairly thick um, paint with brit, brit, um, quick strokes, upward strokes obviously. Alright, so you have a little bit of yellow and red left. And just with the end of your brush, I'm just putting in a few flowers here. Alright, well that's our painting finished. In part two, we'll be putting on our hanging system and hanging our artwork up.